originally a C, C++ programmer, um, and uh, in the last two years really gotten into MATLAB. Um, actually, it's been a very interesting experience. So uh, taking the move from C and C++ over to MATLAB was amazing. I mean, uh, it just showed me exactly how much how powerful MATLAB is as a language. Um, and looking back at it, uh, CUDA really adds um, to C and C++ in a lot of the ways that MATLAB manages to add to, to you know, or to, to that, that MATLAB manages to, to give you power over C and C++. It's very, very nice. So our company is involved in building a, a GPU engine for MATLAB, um, which essentially allows you to run MATLAB code on the GPU. It compiles the MATLAB code down to CUDA, which then gets put on the GPU. So I've done everything. So pretty much anything MATLAB has done, or does, or people use it for, I do that on the GPU. So you can run multiple MATLABs and have each MATLAB running on each GPU, so it scales in that way. But we're moving towards the point now where you can have one MATLAB and then have all the memory across all cards sort of transparent, and you can use all the cards at once in a MATLAB and really leverage the power. In fact, uh, this machine behind me has a Quadro and three Teslas in it. Um, it's quite powerful, and it's running this entire display at a re resolution of 3560 by 1050. It's gigantic, and still running MATLAB. So behind me here we have uh, our product that's uh, Accelerize developed called Jacket, which is a GPU engine for MATLAB. It allows MATLAB code to run on the GPU with almost no modifications. And behind me on the screen here, on the left-hand side, we have a CPU-based MATLAB running without any sort of GPU enhancements whatsoever. And then on the other side, we have GPU-enhanced MATLAB, and you can see from these demos behind me that the GPU offers an incredible performance boost over regular CPU MATLAB. And the beauty of this is that people who work with MATLAB don't really need to change their code at all to migrate to the GPU. So when you're working with SSC and everything, it's almost a given that you're going to be doing you know, some sort of assembly language. And the nice thing that CUDA allows you to do is to write things that you might necessarily write in, in SSC um, just in C. And it's, it's an incredibly powerful, very easy to use system um, that can allow you to do very, very powerful things. And in fact, again, if it weren't for CUDA, we wouldn't be able to enable what we're enabling behind me. Okay, so I, I would say that CUDA and doing computing on GPUs um, is certainly a game changer. Um, you're, you're able suddenly to, with a very cheap piece of hardware, be able to program very easily or at least somewhat easily, you know, very, very powerful applications that would normally require clusters to be able to enable. Um, and with the introduction of Jacket, our GPU engine for MATLAB, this only amplifies this effect by allowing people to program and take advantage of this very powerful hardware, this very cost-effective hardware, to be able to solve all their problems without having to work you know, incredibly hard putting together the programs to utilize it. So I would say that CUDA is certainly the best way to program for a GPU out there right now. I mean, um, just the the level of the things you're able to do with CUDA is just leaps and bounds beyond other methods. Um, for instance, you know, we're able to do BLOS, we're able to do FFTs, everything, and this just isn't possible in other sort of par programming paradigms. Before there was such a thing as CUDA, um, just allocating memory on the GPU, moving it around, and keeping track of it was in fact a hassle. And with CUDA, this is all made transparent very, very easy, and actually allows our developers, you know, to, to make incredible progress in developing our applications.